Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. I want to hurry up and get into this RuPaul's Drag Race <clears throat> Season 12 review. They titled it Alone Together. The theme was supposed to be like a bedroom, sexy lingerie theme. I don't know. <sighs> Off top, you already know how I feel about the season. I think as far as talent, this was a very talented season. I... The many challenges were, mm, but a lot of the main challenges and a lot of the fashions, top level this season. It was a it was a great, entertaining season, as far as the competition, but as far as the show and the characters of the show, it was a snooze. There was no real drama, there was no real conflict that <laughs> needed a resolution. For this reunion, this reunion was a lot of going back and reiterating things that have already been solved within the season, just kind of talking about it again. So I hope for this reunion for me not to talk too much. I do want to hurry up and jump into the looks, get into a few points that I thought were <clears throat> stood out to me, and just get my opinion overall. But overall, the reunion, I gave it a snooze. Bedroom theme was appropriate. I had to watch it twice because the, the first time I watched it, I found myself playing spades on my cell phone. And I was, of course, into my spades game. And really, it was like white noise in the background. But anyway, the first thing I have to say is what the hell did RuPaul have on? Like, <laughs> I understand this was a bedroom theme, alone together, quarantine in the house, in your um nightgown, whatever. But Ru, you couldn't put on no makeup. You can put on a little bit of wig and a little bit of negligee, a little bit of nightgown theme you have on. I looked better sitting in my house on the couch in my pajamas than RuPaul did on this show. I mean, just a purple jogging suit with a blue mask and it, it looked like one of them wrestling masks you get down off the cruise in Cozumel. I mean, no sir, Ru. You could have put on some, if you didn't want to dress up as RuPaul, you could have put on some of uh, your male pajamas. Like, it, what the hell did RuPaul have on? But let's jump into the looks. First, I saw, this ain't in no particular order. I just wrote them down as I saw the squares across my screen. Dahlia, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am, Dahlia, that hair was everything. That makeup is always on point. I love Dahlia's makeup. Was that supposed to be like a little pearl um, negligee with a little titty illusion? I, I was here for it, Dahlia. I was here for it. I loved it. Dahlia was probably one of the best dressed to be voted off first. Very sexy. Number two I saw was Widow. I said, hmm, that was a no ma'am. Widow, those tattoos you have all up here across your chest, the way that you were laying down, it looked like the taco meat, and I just wanted to shave your chest. And then I was like, well, but Angie, those are tattoos. And it was just a simple sequins nightgown with a nice little silk robe. The rollers in the hair could have set it off if you were the only person who had rollers in their hair. <laughs> so since you didn't, it was kind of like, all right. But moving on, it, it was a no man for me. Next was Jackie. I gave Jackie a yes, ma'am. I said Jackie looks like a rich woman sitting in her Manhattan penthouse and her silk lingerie and her red jewels, her rubies. Jackie looked good. I was here for it. Next, Heidi. <sighs> Heidi got just a ma'am. It, it wasn't a yes ma'am or a no ma'am. I like the oversized bow and I like that pussycat wig that was in the little ringlets. That was cute. The outfit didn't bother me. But I did not like the gold outfit with the silver earrings. That didn't match. That clashed. That clashed all up and down the TV screen. So I, I want to give it a no ma'am. But because of, I like the hair bow, it just got a ma'am. Moving on to Britta. Britta also got a ma'am. She had on some huge oversized fluff off the shoulder number. I don't know anybody that sleeps in an off the shoulder like that. So one, you didn't follow the theme your hair and makeup were on Britta brand face was beat 
wig was late so you just got a ma'am Gigi was another one who just got a ma'am I didn't understand what Gigi was trying to do was it a raggedy Ann theme because it looked like a little raggedy Ann nightgown the side ponytail was given and the makeup was just uh so Gigi just got a ma'am Nikki Nikki also just got a ma'am Nikki was not following the theme. I don't care what nobody said. That little champagne color with the brooch right here off the shoulder. That's nobody sleeps like that. People don't. That's not. That wasn't a negligee to me. Um, the hair and makeup was late. So, G, Nikki's hair and makeup always late. Jan got a no, ma'am. First off, hold on. Okay, I'm back. My husband was being loud. For a second but Jan I give Jan a no ma'am because to me correct me in the comments if I'm wrong Michelle Visage wore that pink airline flight attendant hat and made it a look and the theme of that runway was copy Michelle Visage give me your best Michelle Visage so why are you here on a reunion giving us Michelle Michelle Visage when you're supposed to be giving us Jan. And then later on in the reunion, you talking about you so thankful for that moment because you got all this merch to sell. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Michelle, where you at? <laughs> you letting Jan sell merch based off of your look? It got a no ma'am. And she also had the rollers in her hair. So it was, y'all wasn't unique. Uh, one of y'all should have had the rollers. Next, um... Rock'em. Rock'em. I I didn't I don't like it. I I was never here for that makeup look. I understand she does that cosplay. Kimchi and Trixie are not the only ones that can do it. I understand. I just didn't like it on Rock'em. It looked like she was doing an angel wing theme. I didn't understand the old lady glasses in her hair, but she has such a young face i didn't understand what she was going for and all those clothes and wigs in the background was distracting next aiden aiden got a no ma'am for the same reason i gave aiden no ma'ams all season long <laughs> i wasn't here for that hair i wasn't here for that little nightgown you had on i was i'm never here for the makeup so i'm sorry i'm sorry to you aiden fans i don't hate on aiden it's just not my thing i don't feel it moving on crystal crystal got a yes ma'am <laughs> but in my notes i was like i hate this mr scrooge look but Crystal was committed. Crystal was committed to this look. Her face was beat down. I mean, it was old man Scrooge beat down. She went for it and it was executed to perfection. So she got a yes, ma'am. And Crystal, <laughs> at the end, Crystal held up that candle the entire time. Like every time you saw Crystal, she had that candle in her hand. It's just like my arms are hurting. So she got a yes ma'am for that. And then last and definitely not least, my only capital yes ma'am of the group was Miss Jada Essence Hall. And I, I said her whole name. Jada hands down had the best drag of this theme. That um her hair and makeup are always snatched. Her her face, it looks like she was giving Heidi. <laughs> Some pointers over the break and that's no shade to Heidi because Heidi's face was snatched this reunion but I could tell Heidi had that little come to the point as they said surgical snatch nose like Jada's not saying Jada the only one can do it but that's what I'm saying that propped up pillow in the background that made her background look flawless that um mask with the little lashes on it with the Z's coming out the other side, Jada. Yes, Jada took the theme and made it drag and, and made it pop where she just, she shut y'all hoes down. She shut y'all down. Give Jada the crown. Like, I don't know why y'all talking about Miss Gigi. Gigi wasn't over there doing nothing but giving you a little side ponytail. Moving on, let's get into this reunion because like I said, they ain't talk about too much. 
Heidi. Heidi, they started with Heidi. Heidi is the breakout star of this season. And if Rue loves Heidi as much as she loves Vanjie, I done seen Vanjie so much. <laughs> and I love me some Vanjie. Heidi's going to have a great career. Um, I agree with Rue. Rue wants to call her Heidi Aphrodite. I don't agree with that. But I do agree, Heidi, you need to drop the in closet because it for one it's not it, it doesn't it's not grammatically correct it is not easy to say Heidi in closet because you're trying to stay hiding in the closet and it, it just it didn't work for me you should just be Heidi the only other Heidi we know that's a celebrity is Heidi Klum and she goes by Heidi Klum so you can go by Heidi just be Heidi and I think that will work out for you. Um, the in closet to me is off brand because I thought, correct me if I'm wrong, as drag queens, we're celebrating the LGBT, we're celebrating your uniqueness as a drag queen and you don't want to be in the closet. Now, I understand you did it because you said in your past and you're from that small town, you had to be in the closet, but now you out. And we love you. So let's just be Heidi. Moving on. I already said her makeup was on point. I like the little comment she said about Nikki. She said, my grandmother told me the only two people I had to fear was God and her. So who was Nikki? I asked her what she thought was wrong with my makeup. I ain't scared of Nikki and I ain't mad at you. Because so many times people go to celebrities like their little mini gods. You can't say nothing to them. You can't ask them a question like everything they say is right that's what's wrong with these celebrities is too many yes people in their corners i agree with you heidi and that's another level of star power you got a question ask hell the worst she can say is no she ain't gonna answer or she gonna read you some more anyway moving on you got your face beat what came up next nikki um nikki doll was talking Blah, blah. The only thing I really caught that Nikki Dow said is, <laughs> she said at her elimination, that's when they did that little thing where she was playing the baby and Widow was pregnant. I think that's when they did that little Grey's Anatomy thing. She said when she watched it back, her baby was funny and she did not do the worst of that challenge and she wished she did not say herself. That's just editing, girl. And from the edit I saw, the baby was the worst. Yeah, Britta was bad. Hell, Aiden was bad. It was a lot of people that could have been in the bottom right then and, that, and there. It was a lot of rigorization throughout the season where at different moments people should have been in the bottom. It was your turn because you probably should have been in the bottom a couple of challenges before, if we're going to be honest, Nikki. And... At the end of the day, you didn't win the lip sync. Because <laughs> the lip sync, if you was wanted to be safe, you should have won the lip sync. Let's move on. Rue mentioned that Nikki was the one when Rue did um, SNL. I love that episode of SNL. And I remember the little skit she did with Pete Davidson. It was hilarious. Nikki was the one who did Pete Davidson's makeup. So, good job, Nikki. Um, is Jackie Bossy? Yes. Okay, Lisa Renner and her husband gave Jackie a shout out. Great. Um, <laughs> they talk about Aiden taking his nap during that challenge where he had on the umpire ball challenge, whatever. Aiden should have been in the bottom of that challenge. We've said that many times before. We don't have to revisit that. And then the only true drama of the season that needed some kind of resolution was Aiden versus Britta. Of course, I said this many, many moons ago, Britta was going to get on a reunion and apologize. She did. She felt oh so bad. That is also oh not her character. People always say that when they watch themselves on TV. But um, at the end of the day, she apologized. She acknowledged that she was wrong. That's growth. Aiden accepted. So moving on. We talk about Dahlia storming off the stage on her elimination. <laughs> I understood then why she did it. Like, it, you the first one off the show. This was a great season. Someone had to be first. I, I want to see more of Dahlia. 
But she said it like she was emotional. She probably didn't know what to say. She felt like it was rigged. She felt like Crystal should have been in the bottom. Mm. Okay. I, I mean, that broccoli was bad. That broccoli, it was bad. And sometimes you got to go. Um, Widow. Widow had a little segment. She wasn't saying much of nothing. She was talking about her inner saboteur. I just said I want to see Widow some more. Widow is extremely talented. I want to see Widow some more. I want to see Dahlia some more. I would love to see Dahlia and her brother. They both are fine. <laughs> Moving on. Jan finally admits the reason she cried was not because of Britta. Oh, Britta's going to miss. No, she cried because she wanted to win that Madonna challenge. Gigi won. <sighs> Gigi did good that challenge. I don't remember who I said should have won. But this one, she started talking about she got all this merch from this Mel Michelle Visage airline hat. I mean, I guess, I guess Michelle Visage doesn't own a pink airline hat like it ain't trademarked to her it just seems kind of <clears throat> unoriginal like it's like have like it's like saying that rue does it every season where she has them come in their best drag of someone like the season where come in your best rupaul drag or the season of madonna's come in your best madonna drag and say you would have had on a great Madonna drag. You can't then go around and say, I'm going to start selling this based off, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, little protein shake. But um, you can't go off saying, I'm going to copy RuPaul's drag. And because I wore it in a challenge, create merchandise off of it. I'm surprised Michelle's letting her do it, but moving on. I ain't buying none of it, so moving on. Now we get into a little tutor boot segment. Now we got some foolishness. You know, they tutor booted a couple of looks. I ain't gonna go through that. What caught me off guard is <clears throat> they tooting or booting Heidi, somebody's look, and Heidi is off camera. And I'm like, they done picked this up from NeNe Leakes off of the Housewives. They want someone <laughs> to be out of frame. But instead of being out of frame because she had an attitude, you hear the toilet flush. And I'm like, really? Really? We really going to put in that Heidi left the scene to flush the toilet. And you can hear the toilet. And then she comes right back. Like, she ain't washed her hands or did nothing. Okay. Okay, because we all know Nene came back and said she had to pee and change her tampon. That's that's too much info, but Nene said it. <laughs> Quit watching the Housewives, RuPaul producers. But moving on. <clears throat> now it's time for reading this fundamental. And this was this was somewhat good. Brita Brita. <laughs> Brita has some good reads. She said, Aiden, I was so hard on you because I was preparing you for um, Patricia Quinn for this snatch game. She said it better than me because it's all in the delivery. It was hilarious because that lady that Aiden did for the snatch game read Aiden all up and down Twitter. Her friends read Aiden and was like, who was that? Like, who was Aiden? Like, that lady was like, I don't know her and this is definitely not me. <laughs> that snatch game was awful. Then, <clears throat> Britta read Dahlia. This was the read that I love. She was like, Dahlia, you sure got a whole bunch of attitude when you came in 13th place on a 12-person season. That was a little bit of sherry pie shade in there, too. I was like, I, I was cracking up. I was, <laughs> I was like, Britta, no. <laughs> Britta, no. That was some good shade. <sighs> Aiden tried. She was said something about Britta being a sprinkler system because of her spit. That was a no, ma'am. Gigi, she said she could file her nails on Jackie's face. Eh, everyone laughed. It wasn't funny to me. And 
she said, I wish I could quit you. That was her shade to Crystal. I ain't get it. That one went over my head. She was like, Crystal, I wish I could quit you. I'm assuming it's some kind of reference to meth, since Crystal's name is Crystal Method. I don't know. Um, Nikki, whatever Nikki said, I didn't understand. It was not funny. <clears throat> Crystal, Crystal has some good shade. Her delivery, Crystal was so bubbly and nice and popish. She couldn't deliver it right. Like she said, Jan, you have any condoms? Because you're always safe. And that was some good shade, but it just wasn't funny in the moment. Then she said, Heidi, you good at, I know you appreciate this social distancing because your looks look better six feet away. I was like, that's true, Crystal, because Heidi uses that white translucent powder in the center of her face. Stop it, Heidi. Get you a little bit of banana powder or something. That white translucent powder pales out her skin and it, it looks better from afar her makeup looks better from afar but it, it all right jada says something about if you all run out of toilet paper use heidi's cape from the cape challenge that wasn't funny because you really could have used anybody's cape <laughs> for it to be shade that wasn't funny um <clears throat> widow one those pearl glasses widow had on she said f you Ru rupaul and these little paper glasses sticks you want us to wear i got the reading glasses i was here for them glasses widow i want some of those <laughs> chris widow said crystal you are the cutest girl of the planet planet of the apes the way widow said it was so much funnier than me I saw everyone was cracking up. I was like, you know, when Rue get one of those good hand-waving laughs, <laughs> you know he is tickled. And then she told Gigi, she said, Gigi, good something. R. Kelly wouldn't even piss on you. I ain't get it. <laughs> like, is it a shade for her age? Or get in the comments because everyone, Rue had to shut it down. She was like, okay, that's enough. And she was giving some of them good hand-waving laughs. And I was like... I don't get the R. Kelly joke, but get in the comments, let me know, because I that one went over my head, too. Okay, moving on. We almost done. <clears throat> now, now here come the fake shit. At some point, Rockham <clears throat> is arguing with Jada about that damn apple roll, and after that, everyone starts arguing. Some people getting up, leaving their seats. I said, see, here go y'all watching, um... Drag Race, not dra Drag Race, you all watching Housewives of Atlanta too much. <clears throat> that was too much. Y'all ain't do that, mu that much arguing this whole season for y'all to be at the reunion fighting. <laughs> Just keep it happy, go lucky. <laughs> don't, don't do the extras, the theatrics. So here, <clears throat> now we at Vanjie. Vanjie comes and shuts the reunion down only because I love Vanjie and Rue loves Vanjie. Every time Rue has an opportunity to pop Vanjie up on our screens, bam, there goes Vanjie. <clears throat> so, number one, those wigs Vanjie had on, first one, that black wig, asymmetrical with the waves, love. Hey, that second wig Vanjie had on with the um, pink and white highlighted twisty braids, yes ma'am. And then Vanjie had on that same little asymmetrical wig in a blonde when she was Miss Pearlie, Sister Pearlie from the Church of Brittany. I could watch that Church of Brittany skit over and over and over and over again. Not only for Vanjie, everyone in that skit was hilarious. But moving on, <clears throat> Vanjie asked me questions like, is Jackie still with her man? I guess Vanjie thought Jackie was sexy, sexy, but Jackie is still taken, so move on, Vanjie. <clears throat> um, Widow did a rap. She rapped her ass off. Yes, Widow, you are a star. <clears throat> Gigi and Crystal kissed. I ain't see that. How come I ain't see that all season? And how come they ain't play this up? If y'all had a whole nother little second relationship going on, like Vanjie and Brooklyn, how come we ain't see this? <clears throat> that was some drama we could have known about. 
moving on they didn't answer if they were still together or not so i'm gonna take that to say yes they are still together <clears throat> moving on so <clears throat> we talk about the top three now i thought it would just be a top four like okay sherry is out jackie is in Rue said, uh-uh, Jackie, you went home. You, you can't get back in. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Jackie. But the top three are going to lip sync virtually next week. I'm here for it. They're doing five lip syncs. That's going to be good. <laughs> I'm here for it. We need something to watch on TV. I don't know how this virtual lip sync is going to go down, <laughs> but I'm here for it. I'm going to be ready to watch it. Are we Team Jada, Team crystal or team Gigi. i said i'm team jada all day i feel like jada shut down the runway on that last runway <clears throat> jada shut down the reunion as far as looks crystal i love crystal widow is right i i wasn't here for crystal in the beginning but as i got to learn crystal and understand her drag i love crystal i love you crystal i wouldn't mind if crystal won but for some reason they gonna give it to Gigi. it's it's in my bones I feel it. Gigi isn't undeserving, but I don't, <clears throat> I don't want to see Gigi win. Like, because Gigi to me is like Eureka from those seasons ago when she did that final lip sync and she did a reveal that said the winner and then she turned around, <laughs> turned around and who was that who won? I can't even remember their name. But old girl won because she had those bang bangs going off, confetti guns. <clears throat> it was good. Eureka didn't deserve to win that final lip sync anyway. But um, I feel like they're going to give it to Gigi. Because Gigi is so cocky and she probably already feels like she won. But Jada deserves it. But moving on, I ain't going to make this long trying to speak up for Jada because I ain't got no vote. I don't have no <laughs> All I could do is watch. Anyway, get in the comments. Let me know who team you all are on. You team Jada, team Crystal, team Gigi. Let me know what you thought about the reunion. And I will talk to you all later. See you next Friday. And I can't wait for All Stars. Bye.